Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today, in this video, we will extend our learning of Azure functions which we were doing from the past two weeks. Okay, so uh, if you have uh, not watched my two videos which I have made in the last two weeks regarding the Azure functions, then I request you to please watch them first because uh, those videos will set a foundation for you to understand that what exactly the Azure function is, what is the use of it, and how uh, we can utilize that functionality into our business sample. Okay, so this is the third part of the video, and uh, let's begin with that. So, uh, in this uh, video, what we will learn about that we will create one Azure function, and out of that Azure function, we will fetch out some value into our business center. Okay, so as you can see, this is the Azure function which is written in the Python language. Okay, I have created Azure function in the Python one. So that is why you can see that this is a Python function written here. Okay, and uh, now uh, the thing is that out of this uh, Python function, or you could say Azure function, we want uh, to fetch out the hexadecimal number. Okay, it's just that uh, why I chose this uh, functionality to convert an integer number uh, which you will provide from the business central to this Azure function and it will process that integer number and give you the hexadecimal number and pass it to your business central so that uh, you could understand properly that how we can um, use it and of course uh, one of the uh, main reason is that uh, this hexadecimal conversion is a built-in function in the python language so you don't need to install any specific libraries for it in your azure environment in order to make it function properly okay this is a very simple example and that's how you could really relate to uh, the usage of Azure function with respect to the business center. Okay, so now what I did is that uh, as uh, this function uh, is a standard code which is uh, by default will be generated when you create a new uh, Azure function in the Python one. So now as you can see that it takes a required parameter called name from us. Okay, so what the thing is that we will pass a name from the business central to this Azure function. So under the under that name parameter, we will pass one integer. Okay. So now, uh, if you see this, in this code, I have just added only these two lines. Okay. What these two lines uh, generally did is that first of all, whatever name I'm getting, I'm getting that name in the text format. Okay. So first first of all, I am uh, converting that text into an integer. So, for example, if I pass, uh, let's say, an integer number from the business central, but uh, it will come here as a as a text. Okay. So, when it comes as a text, I will convert it into an integer and pass that value here. And now, this a is having a number 21, but it is in the integer format. Okay. And now. To convert that integer number into an hexadecimal, we have one built-in function available in the Python called hex, H-E-X. It's a built-in function. You don't need to manually or specifically add any uh, new library into your code to use this functionality. Okay. So I just write down hexadecimal and pass this A variable which contains any particular number and that's how it convert that integer number into an hexadecimal and pass it to A. And as soon as it pass it to A, it will return me that value. And that's where I will pick this value uh, and uh, use it into my business center. Okay, so this is my Azure function. If you want to test it, you can test it here also. So let's say if I click on test and uh, let's say in this because it takes a name parameter so let's say if i pass here any number let's say 100 and if i click on run so
it will give us the output of 100 which is 64 okay you do not get confused with 0x because 0x is a prefix which is used uh, to signify that the following number is a hexadecimal number in the python okay similarly if you want to convert an uh, octadecimal number you can use oct as a built-in function in the python so it becomes so easy that we can uh, use this Azure function with all the functionalities which we cannot directly develop into the business central, but they are available into the Python uh, language under some uh, main libraries, for example, generating the QR code or translating. So there, are, there is a package called translator. So you can use multiple libraries and uh, fetch out the values from there. Okay, so now, our function is working correctly whatever I wanted to so let's use this that how we can utilize this as your function into our business end. okay so just uh, to save time and do not uh, give you the same kind of knowledge again and again because I've made this integration videos in the past that how to uh, create or how to integrate your business central with the other APIs uh, using HTTP uh, request, HTTP response, JSON text, JSON body, JSON object. Okay, so what I have done is that I have already created a page called Azure function it is, and as you can see, it has already generated some few results. Let's click on the new button and uh, this time let's say I write down some number called 150. Okay, and when I click on actions, and click on this button integer to hexadecimal okay. it will give me the value of 150 into the hexadecimal as this one okay so that's how you can generate or you can uh, convert any integer number into an hexadecimal number like this way so it's a it's a really a good way of uh, utilizing this as your functionality uh, into developing some kind of functionality which is not uh, by default available into the AI library. Okay, so now let me show you the code which I have written to for against this action like what code is running behind this uh, button. Let's see that. Okay. So here, this is my code. I have created one table, then I have created one list page and card page. And in this card page, I have this action called integer to hexadecimal. Okay, so let's uh, see each line one by one. So for example, first of all, I have created these uh, variables. Okay, so first variable is client, which is uh, of data type HTTP client, because HTTP client is a data type through which we can uh, raise the get request or post request right and then uh, this second variable is called object which is called json object because we have to pass this main header which we are passing into our url we have learned it in the past two videos as well that in order to get the output we have to pass the name variable with some number like 21 100 whichever we are passing so that's why we are adding or we are passing that information into the json object and then one variable is called response message which is the http response message data type okay so this data type basically helps in getting the response reading the response and uh, utilizing that response into your business center okay then this is the content that whatever content we have to pass, you have to pass via HTTP content data type. So that's why I use this as well. Then of course the URL, which is of text type and then the JSON text, which is with the text type. You will see how I have utilized all this into our code. So first line I have written here is the URL. And in this URL, I have passed uh, this uh, URL of my Azure function. So if I show you, So let me open this. This is my Azure function. Okay, and yeah, you can click on this get function URL and you have to copy this complete Azure function. And as you can see, 
this is my function app url then this is my azure function http trigger one and then after the question mark whatever i pass it as a header like here in our case we are passing name so our code will append that name information into this url so that's why i copy this url from here and paste it into my this url section okay now the second line is object which is a json object so in the json object i am adding the name parameter and in the name whatever i am passing i am passing my record dot number which is this number i am passing whatever input i uh, whatever number i input in my form in this page i pass this value into my json object okay then my json body have this uh, information of uh, uh, my current integer number in the name parameter right okay so now this information i am writing from my json object to this json text variable which is of the text type okay i am passing this uh, into this text variable because the http content can read the information from the text variable okay so that's why if you see the next line it is written content dot write from okay so from this json text variable it is writing the information into my content which is the http content data type variable fine so now my http content have the information which i have to pass into my azure function okay now talking about the next line here we have written that client dot post that means my http client i am now sending my request to my azure function which takes three parameter the url then the content i mean the url then it append my content into it which have the number is equal to 21 number is equal to 100 and so on and whatever information it will process and whether the whether the error will come or whether the output will come whatever information will come it will get stored into this variable which is called response message and it is of data type http response message okay so here we have written that if the request is not successful then error should come that uh, we have not been managed to connect to your azure function okay then uh, after which i uh, have written that in case we have managed to connect but somewhere we are not uh, uh, somewhere the, when the function is running it it is generating some error okay maybe you have written some wrong code into your azure function so that's why error could come so now we are checking out that one that if the success status code is not good so if i show you what is the success status code so here what we have done is that uh, we have run our code we have run our azure function so let me show you that part also okay so if i click on the test run so here if i go to the output now let me pass and click on run so it is running along whatever is my information and as you can see http response code which is 200 okay so we have to check this one as well that if the connection established and your function runs successfully giving you the output so it always give you this number 200 and okay so this is what i'm checking that using this function if my response is success status code which is 200 okay okay then only i want to process otherwise if it is not successful then error should come which is the web service return an error message along with the status code and the description status code will always be different from the number 200 it could be 400 500 or any other number but it can never be the same 200 and along with it the description which is for the 200 it is okay but for any other number it will be some different kind of description and not okay okay then after this i am checking out http status code then my response phrase and after which 
now it's time whatever response i receive in from my azure function in this case it is 0x64 so i want to fetch out this information into my this field called hex number so how i can do it so i have written here that response message dot content read as json text which means whatever information i am getting from the response message into my http content variable i am passing that information into my json text variable all right so now my json text will have this information called 0x64 0x64 okay and now after i have this information i just have to simply pass this text variable to my hex number field and that's it this is how my result will become a part of this hex number field okay so that's the all code we have to uh, write down in order to connect to my azure function and get the response get the return value from my azure function into our business center right so guys in this way we can use uh, the azure function uh, uh, functionality into the business center and we can develop so many things which we cannot directly develop with the ai okay so with that note i would like to uh, close uh, this uh, session today and i hope you like this video and in case you like this video i request you to please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video.